Hello everybody, this is Lisa from Maryland. How is everyone? Um, we are being shut down in the nations and God want us to be a oneness with him throughout this. He is doing a resetting of things, a restoration of things, a cleansing of things. He, he's looking for souls to be saved and people to come to him because it's been an apostasy, a falling away, a great falling away from the Lord. Everyone, I want to speak about a video that I gave back in August 30th. It was Lisa's teachable moment about keep the faith. And in it, Jesus said some things to me about was things that he was doing. And I want to talk about that. And I want to talk about Revelation chapter 12, because we are in birthing pains right now over the world. And let's just go and want us with the Lord. Playing the chauffeur horn. And may you all just go into prayer with me. Heavenly Father, Yeshua HaMashiach, and welcome you in this place over the center and receive us, Father, this word today, Father. Let nothing come out of me that's not of you, O oh God. God, you are my Savior, my strength, my Redeemer. You are everything, O oh God. Lord Jesus, may this video be shared and reached to others, Lord, throughout the world, Father. May people share it, Father. Lord Jesus, to speak upon the vision that you gave me, Father. From August the 30th, Father, to reiterate things that people are in oneness and know to look to you, which come with their help, because their help coming from the Lord. Lord Jesus, cover us with the blood, the video, and our senders and receives, our family members, Lord, our friends, our loved ones, our homes, our jobs, Father. Lord Jesus, let us be in oneness with you. You said, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added. Father, may you be with us through the storm as you were with Shadrach, Rat, Meshach, and Abednego. Yeshua HaMashiach. Lord Jesus, Yahweh save, heals, and delivers. Lord Jesus, you're the above us. May we be the head, not the tail. Above and not beneath, blessed and not cursed. In you, we praise you. and We magnify your name and state. Lord, we love you, O God. Lord, may you bless us, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Everyone, yes. Right now we're in a shutdown over the globe. And Jesus is trying to do a new thing. He's purging things from out of us. Things that uh, people are doing. Things that are abominable. Now back in August 30th, I shared a video it was a Lisa's teachable moment. And in that video, it says, Lisa's teachable moment, keep the faith, August the 30th. I shared this on YouTube. Lisa's fleet, God's messenger 17. And in that video, I spoke upon some things that were spoken to me from God in the spirit. In my sleep, and God told me that He said, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming three times. He said, For the abominations, all these abominations, and they had big red axes on them, and they were falling in an accelerating speed, a fast speed. I couldn't even witness them all, I couldn't see all of them that they were particularly, but they were a lot. And they had big red axes. I can remember their big red axes. They were falling really fast in the spirit. And Jesus gave me all these different places that it was going to be storms. And I prayed for the different places. And one particular place that was given to me was Tupelo, Mississippi. And um, he gave me confirmation on that. And the things that I prophesied in that video has come to play. This was seven months ago. Jesus gave me different states of storms. He gave me different places and these things are happening. Has happened. The places that he gave me, the things that he said to me. Jesus told me he was coming for the abominations. You all, Jesus is not playing. 
He is not playing. This is biblical. What you see going on is biblical. These things, I've been in this world for 50 years, and these things have not happened as the way that they are happening. This is like a woman that's in travail. This is like Revelations uh, chapter 12, which I'm going to read to you all. He want the Lord Jesus Christ want us to reverence him. It's important where your soul is going to go. If something were to happen, you want to know that you will be in the right place, that you have a right standing with the Lord God Almighty. So in these times right now, these are times you're in your homes, you're able to pick up a Bible. It's, if you have internet, it's, it's all kind of Bible apps. I use Bible is, B-I-B-L-E-I-S is, and it's a nice app. You can use if you don't have a Bible, um, Audible Bibles. There are all kind of Audible Bible websites out that people can read the Word of God. And it's believing on God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. You know, it's God the Father. You know, the Lord told me, He said, He and the Father and one. You know, so these are the times that God wants us to. Seek him. Seek him with our whole heart. He said we are to love the Lord thy God with all our whole heart and to love thy neighbor as thyself. So in these end times, it's about repenting. It's about getting in oneness on your knees, reverencing God, asking God to come into your heart if you don't know him, asking the God to just Give you revelation of who he is and what he's about. In these times, it's about reading the word, applying the word in your life, being in prayer, praying for yourselves, praying for others in the name of Jesus. Because Jesus sits high and he looks low. He sees all things. He doesn't miss a beat. His word changes not. He's a God of Abraham, Am, Isaac, and Jacob. He's a God of the Jews and the Gentiles. You know, these are times that people are going to be coming in droves to the Lord. Atheists, agnostics, people doing these abominable things, coming out of their abominations. Because God is saying, hey, look, I am the Lord God. I am the ruler. Nothing happens unless God allows it. Nothing happens unless God allows it to happen. Now, if it's to bring you to him, he will allow it. But if you root it in Christ, Jesus, your soul will be in a good place. Your book will be written in a book of life. This is like a woman that's in travail, everyone. It's like a woman that gives birth in pains. She's in labor for nine months. And the pains get intense. And sometimes... A woman will be in so much pain that she will ask for epidural. The epidural eases the pain. So with things that we're going through nowadays, it's affected everybody. This is affecting the way of, your way of living, your way of life. And Jesus is our answer. Jesus to our answer in this. Jesus want us to look to him. He says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. There are storms that have come, tornadoes, earthquakes, tsunamis, all kind of destruction that has hit the earth. Diseases, famines, pestilence, just as God said it would be. He says, so are the days of Noah. 
He says to seek him with your whole heart. Now, part of your heart, a little bit of heart, he said your whole heart with everything you have with your whole being. To fall on your knees to God. Jesus is worthy to get you through this. But he wants you to be in oneness. He wants us to be in oneness with him. He wants us to accept the Father and the Son. He is our everything. He is needed in our lives. Don't ever think that you don't need God because you need Jesus, the Lord Jesus Christ. He says that we are not to serve any other gods. If you've never witnessed me, Lisa Fleet, God's messenger. I have a lot of videos. I have a blog, Lisa Fleet, small letters, dot blogspot.com. I have videos, I have scriptures, I have poems, things about the Lord, you know, visions God gives me. I have vision, uh, 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 video on suicide. God gives me things of people to pray for. He shows me situations of individuals I don't even know that I am to pray for you all. And God will use you. He can use you. It doesn't matter what you've done. He used Paul, Peter, Saul, people that turned on the persecuted uh, believers. He used them for his glory. So you don't have to go to divinity school to be used by the Lord. The Lord cho choose whom he want for his glory. You know, some people may be looking at someone. They may be looking at a title. They may be looking at someone that have a pastor in front of their name, ministry in front of their name. I come to you with the name Lisa Fleet. Okay, I'm not a pastor. I teach the Bible. I have not been to theology school, but God is using me as his vessel. And you can go to church, you can sing on a choir, you could do all these things and still not really have that relationship with the Lord. It's about how you live from day to day. Seven days a week. Are you living for Christ Jesus? Jesus want Christ to be in your heart. It's to, for us to be rooted and grounded in the Lord Jesus Christ. So just because you go to church, you sing on a cry, choir, you sing hallelujah, that doesn't mean that you're rooted in Christ. God say, look, everyone that says Lord, Lord is not for him. But if God be with us, who shall be against us, and no weapon formed against us shall prosper, and every tongue that rise against us in judgment, the Lord thy God shall condemn. So everyone, I want to read, this is, we're going through times we like a woman in travail and labor pains. Let me read to you Revelations 12. It says, I'm reading from King James Bible, and there prepared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars, it was a sign and a garland. And she, be, being with child, cried, travailing in, travailing in birth and pain to be delivered. Now, when a woman is in pain and deliver, trying to deliver a baby, she is in a lot of intense pain. This is what we're going through in this world. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his heads. Verse 4, and his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered. For to devour her child as soon as it was born. And she brought forth a man child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. This is Jesus. And the woman fled into the wilderness where she had a place prepared of God, that they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and three score days. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels, that's the war angel, Michael, fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels, and prevailed not. 
neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out. And Satan, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world. See, Satan is a deceiver and a liar, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with them. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brother is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. See, Satan is the accuser. In heaven, he accuses us with the courts. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. The blood, Jesus saves us through his blood. He's the Lamb of God, the Lion of Judah. And by the word of their testimony, and they love not their lives unto the death. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. See, God is allowing the devil to do certain things on this earth right now because his time is short. He's only to serve for a time. The, kings of, the kingdoms of this earth is not going to be always. They are carnal. They're not eternal. God is the eternal. So God is allowing certain things so that we could come into oneness with him. You know, God says a lot in the Bible. He teaches us how to put on our full armor of God, Ephesians chapter 6. He teaches us to put on our full armor, Psalms 91. He that dwelleth in a secret place, he dwells in a secret place, shall abide under the shadows of the Almighty. He is our refuge and our fortress, my God and him will I trust. Psalms 23, the Lord is our shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. And when the dragon saw that he was cast unto the earth, he persecuted the woman, which brought forth the man child. In this case, the woman is Jesus. And to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness into her place, where she is nourished for a time and times and a half. For a time and times and a half. Okay. From the face of the serpent. From the devil. And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman. That he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. A river of water. And the earth helped the woman. And the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood. Which the dragon cast out his mouth. And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of God and have the testimonies of Jesus Christ. So the serpent is enraged. It's time to get to know God if you don't know him already. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added. I'm going to give you chapter 13, Revelations. And I stood upon the sand of the sea, and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. See, the devil blasphemies God. God says that we are not to blaspheme his name. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion, and the dragon gave from his power, and his seat in great authority. So Satan, you all. And I saw one of his heads as if it were wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wandered after the beast. See, see Jesus say 
that people will follow false Christ, the Antichrist. Even the elect will be deceived. So there is an Antichrist spirit out here. There's people that's walking in darkness instead of light. And Jesus is just saying, come out of the dark into the light. And they worship the dragon, which gave power unto the beast, and they worship the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him? And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies, and power was given unto him to come continue forty and two months. Now Jesus is saying that power, certain powers was given to the Antichrist. But it's time is not going to last. Jesus is going to come back and he's going to take things back. He says to return to your first love. I have a video on my channel that talks about returning back to the first love. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. Now see, the devil tried to tempt believers in God. He don't like the Lord. He's angry and he's mad because he was kicked out of heaven. With his other angels, a third of the other angels, he wanted to be God, but he can't be God. Only one God. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life, the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. See, there's a book of life. When you in Christ, you believe in God, you believe him, you seek him wholeheartedly, your name will be written in the book of life. Now, those names that are not written in the book of life are following Satan. They're worshiping Satan. They're following darkness. But you get your light from the, the God. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Jesus say, if any man have an ear, let him hear what he is saying to us. He say that is life in him, peace in him, oneness in him. No matter what's going on around you, you can have the peace of God in your heart if you're rooted in Christ. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. See, you, you, you're dealing with a political system that's rooted in darkness. This world is rooted in darkness, and this political system is full of dark things. Jesus is saying, do not follow it, to follow him, because he is light. And he exercises all the power of the first beast before him and causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to, to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. See, the beast is people that's following the Antichrist, Antichrist beliefs, darkness, false prophets. And he doeth great wonders so that he make a fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. Now, see, the Antichrist is going to be doing things that people might mistake him as God. He's not God. It's only one God. But we have to know the difference in what you follow and what not. We have to ask God to for discernment of what's right and what's wrong. Because God is righteousness. And deceive of them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. See, he's a deceiver. Satan is a deceiver. Saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast 
which have the wound by his sword, and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak, and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he caused of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, this is Jews and Gentiles, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred, three score and six, 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 six. And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion, and with him a hundred and forty, and four thousand, hundred and forty-four thousand, having his father's name written in their foreheads. It's the Lord. And I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of a great thunder, and I heard the voice of Harpers harping with their harps, and they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders, and no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty and four thousand which were re redeemed from the earth. These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb whithsoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, 144,000. Jesus is saying these are people that are going to go to him. The 144,000 are going to be left. They're not going to be serving the false antichrist, the false prophets. They're going to be worshipers of him, and they're going to receive him. They're going to have salvation through him. So Jesus is saying for us not to walk in darkness of Antichrist. Don't follow a falsehood. Don't follow no deceitful religious system. We follow God. Not man, but God. Jesus is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. We look to him. He and his father and one. He went to his father at 12. He was about his father's business. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit is ever so present. But we have choice whether we want to receive him or we don't. It's game. Christ is game to live his game. And we want to put him first because he's the head. He's the alpha and omega beginning and Jesus is all we need in our lives, in our heart. We are to forgive each other. We are to put away bitterness, hurt, pain, suffering, sorrow. We are to be forgiving people. We are to love thy neighbor as thyself, as God said. We are to love him with all our heart, all our might, and all our soul. He says that we are not to be in abominations. We're not to be following darkness. We're not to be following soothsaying. We're not to be following sodomy. We're not to be following anything that's abominable to the Lord. Jesus is holy God. He says, be ye holy for I am holy, says the Lord. These times is serious times. It's time to get right with God. We're dealing with pestilences, famines, diseases, plagues. All these things you're witnessing this generation is in this Bible. Jesus said it. I believe it. It's his word. He'll make it good. He'll, he, 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 with the devil meant for evil, the Lord will turn it for good. So you seek him face, you seek his face, you seek him continually. Just as in First Chronicles 16, 11, seek the Lord and his strength, seek his face continually. Philippians 4, 13, I can do all things to Christ which strengthens me. 
But know that the Lord is worthy to be reverenced. He is worthy to be praised. He is the almighty God. He is the omnipotent God. He is omnipresent God. He knows all things. We can't put nothing past him. The Lord thy God. Mm. Let me read you this. Psalms 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law doth the Lord, and in his, uh, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in the season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth, he shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff, which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Jesus said the ungodly will perish. He said um, you, you're like you're in the wind, being driven away when you're ungodly. So Jesus say, delight in his way. Meditate on him day and night. He said, you're blessed when you're in oneness with him, when you're walking in his counsel. But the ungodly sinners, you're, you're like the wind. You're going to be taken away in the wind. You're going to have judgment coming against you. So he said, be righteous. He sits on the right hand of the Father. You know, you're going to be tempted. He was tempted in the wilderness. But Jesus said, be sure to know that I've overcome. We are made in the likeness of the Lord. So be a true believer. Trust him with all your all heart and all your soul. I'm speaking to atheists, agnostics, non-believers, believers that have not been rooted in God, apostasy, people that's fallen away, people that's straddling the fence. Jesus does people that's lukewarm. Jesus say, "Don't be lukewarm. I'll spit you out of my mouth." He wants you to be for Him wholeheartedly, not halfheartedly, but wholeheartedly. And I pray, say a prayer for everyone who hear my voice. Heavenly Father, I thank you, Father God. I thank you, Lord, for giving me the Holy Spirit for this word to come across to people, Father, that they may be reached. Lord Jesus, that they may be hearers of your word, that he who have ears to hear, let them hear, Father God, this day. If they don't know you, to accept them, you in their hearts, their minds, their spirits, to love thy neighbors as thyself, to love you with their whole hearts, to put away anger, bitterness, hate, hatred, and pain, to forgive one another, Father. Father. As you say, we are to forgive because you forgive us, Father. Lord Jesus, may you be over their lives, Father. Lord Jesus, may they be rooted and planted in salvation and your glory. Your grace and mercy is sufficient. Your grace is sufficient for us, Lord, this day. Lord Jesus, just bless them and their families and their homes, Father, in their situations. Father God, may they give up things to come to you, Father, in these times and be serious to know where they're going, Lord. Let their souls be blessed. Let their souls be saved and healed, Lord. Let the souls be his healed, Lord, in Jesus' name. We are in birth and pains, Lord. Lord Jesus, let them be healed and go to you and one us. In Jesus' name, I pray. Everyone, this is Lisa coming to you from Baltimore. May God bless you all real, real good. If you want to know where I'm at, I'm Lisa Flea, God's Messenger 17 on YouTube. Um, Twitter, Lisa R. Fleet. Believe in Christ is my best friend. I have um, I bought my blog spot. It's a small letters. LisaFleet.blogspot.com You can learn more about me in these places. I'm on Pinterest. Lisa Fleet, Believe in Christ as my best friend. And I have a website where we talk about my life a little bit. My website is Lisa Fleet. Um, four four Wix site small letters four four the number four four dot Wix site w i x s i t e dot com slash my site. You can find me in these places, everyone, and as to be a vessel for the Lord.
We ought to speak the word of God. We ought to give warnings. When God gives us warnings, God is warning his people to come to him because no man knows the day nor the hour that he will return. But he said to be ye ever so ready so your names will be written in the book of life and love each other. Sometimes it's a little hard, but Jesus said we ought to love one another, love our neighbor as ourselves. He loves us and we ought to love him. We ought to reverence to him. We ought to praise him, sing praises to him. Those who are rooted in Christ, Jesus got you. So this is where you want to be on Christ's side, on Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the God Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You want to be on the side of light, not antichrist, not darkness, but light. Jesus is light. He's gain. So to live with Christ is gain, everyone. So may you all be blessed, hunker down, and be a oneness with Christ through these times. It's plenty of time you have for yourself now is to be a oneness with the Lord. Know Jesus. He is everything. Ask Jesus for wisdom, knowledge, and revelation. And go back to um, August 31st for my channel. August 30th for my channel. It was Lisa Fleet's Teachable Moment, Keep the Faith video, where I prophesied of the things that God gave me about. He said the abominations he was coming for in his different states. That he say storms will be coming in. This was seven months ago. These things have happened and they're happening now, everyone. So see you later. Bye-bye. Be blessed.